Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do here is I've got a little battery bank of uh, chargers. I've got these little batteries for a um, power supply. And just simply charging it with a charger isn't quite doing it. I have to discharge them as well. So um, I've already tried reconditioning some of these. You just take these little caps off. There's a little rubber cap underneath, and then you can fill distilled water. Uh, a bunch of them were empty. Um, so this is... Uh, the bank that goes into and after charging them for a little while um, I do get quite a good voltage across the whole lot of them 12.6 volts um, And that seems to be sustained, but I do want to recondition them as well as possible. So um, I'm going to open them back up again add a little bit of Epsom salt to all of them and then build a little circuit um, So I've got my Epsom salt here that was eight bucks at a uh, drugstore. Uh, give you a free syringe if you go to the pharmacy counter. Just tell them you're a crack addict and you want a clean, clean needle, and they'll just give you that for free. Um, for the timer, I'm going to use two of these Christmas light timers. So, uh, what I'm going to do is set up one to be on for an hour, and then the one to discharge it, I'm going to have on for an hour. Sorry this one be on for an hour and then off for two hours and then this one be on for an hour and then off for two hours so they they intertwine um giving it the batteries an hour to rest in between so on a nine hour cycle they'll charge uh three times and uh discharge three times um and let that run for a couple of days um what i'm planning on doing is since this is 120 volt out um and the batteries are 12 volts um, having the batteries run through a relay um, I've got this one laying around it's a 70 amp 12 volt relay um, little much I only need to discharge like an amp or so um, not 70 uh, but I don't think I do have a bigger one actually yes a uh, little one rather there we go okay so I do this is a standard uh, relay automotive relay um, just so happens to be insulated and have nice pigtails on it um, Don't think I'm gonna have terminals that are gonna be quite this big anyway so We'll go with this one um, Now this one here What am I gonna use to discharge it? That's the question. What am I gonna use to trigger it? Um, got these little LED lights here, they're pretty strong, they're like two or three amps a piece. And we've got little 120 to 12 volt module LED driver. So I can plug that in here and use this to drive the relay and then use the relay to drive something else. Or just use this. No, yeah, that's what I gotta do. Because this is gonna be hooked into uh, line power, house power, um, both of these. Yeah, that's what we'll do. I'm gonna try and cobble that shit together and see how it works. I almost forgot, very important, don't do any electrical without a nice wine. So, oh yeah. One. Uh, oh yeah, rats. 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 All the rats. Ah, oh, they're so fucking shit. Oh, I dropped one. Ah, oh, rats. So. <sighs> yeah. Um. Uh, came over here to test it. I got it set up into a uh, uh, third block, so on, off, off, on, off, off, on, off, off. Why thirds? Well, because unfortunately, uh, time is uh, base three. Uh, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, 90 minutes, you know, um, 12 segments on the clock. Uh, divisible by three and such. Uh, why not two? I don't know, because we're fucking stupid. Yeah, so the problem is, is... 
that one has one of those ground thingies and that does not have a ground thingy so we're gonna have to cobble some shit together uh okay don't look i'm gonna fuck something up okay <coughs> i have this hooked up into the extension cord so that is plugged in and that cable goes over to the 12 volt transformer so that transforms down to 12 volts and i actually just have the led on here uh just to kind of act as a baluster basically a ballast for the um for the um the transformer here uh, a ballast for the ballast uh, the relay then gets plugged into that and that triggers the light so the light here i've got a low beam and a high beam uh, it's an led light uh, truck light led light it's just a display they threw away over at work quite a nice little light it takes about one and a half two amps roughly on the high beam mode high beam turns the high and the low on at the same time that's the uh high beam side that's the low beam side and then that goes via the gray cable to the battery bank which then sucks out all of the power out of the batteries that the batteries can provide. Now, because this is a LED light and it's a smart LED light, it shuts off at 11 volts. Um, it'll start flickering at about 12, 1, 12, and then about 11, 9, it'll just shut right off. Um, so this tells us that the relay is working because that's on the relay side. And then this tells us that the relay does work so let's just uh, give it a click on so it works perfectly we've got the little LED on and we got the big LED on so this bank of batteries is now being drained as for the charger I don't want to take the ground off because I do plan on using this again so I kind of just uh it'll work it'll work fine and then that's just on this charger here i'll plug all this in get it timed up and we'll see oh let's see what the voltage draw is let's see if the power is dropping really fast or somewhat slow let's just do this with one hand There we go. Huh. It's supposed to be turning off, actually. Down to 10 volts. And holding. Huh. And holding. Very interesting. It's been on for like three minutes. Well, that's be enough to discharge him anyway. We'll see how that goes.